Hello friends, Eli here with Mystic Circuits. Today I'm very excited to give you a look at the final version of the Spectrum Mirror, available in a couple of weeks. For those that never saw the older demos, I like to explain the Spectrum Mirror as a resonant multi-mode sampling gate, which means that I treat it as a multi-mode resonant filter where downsampling is the method by which audio is filtered. Now, there's an important point to distinguish here, which is that the Spectrum Mirror is not a downsampler in the truest sense of the word, because instead of using a sample and hold chip, it uses something called a track and hold. With a sample and hold, you have two signals, your sample input and your sample clock. Whenever it receives the clock, the sample and hold will take a sample of whatever voltage is at the input and then hold that voltage at the output until a new sample clock is received. This can take a wiggly waveform, like a sine, and turn it into a set of stepped voltages. Now, a track and hold is different in one key way. Just like the sample and hold, it will hold the input voltage whenever the sample clock is high. However, when the sampling clock goes low again, the track and hold will pass whatever voltage is at the input. In that way, varying the width of the sampling clock will allow through more or less of the original signal by holding the output for a longer or shorter portion of the sample clock period. This acts similarly to a blend, but not entirely. So on the spectrum mirror, you will see three main parameters labeled in the middle of the panel. The top knob is the sampling clock frequency, just like on a normal downsampler. The middle knob is the pulse width of the sampling clock, which acts similarly to a blend. And the final knob is the morph knob, which controls a bipolar VCA on the output and this controls either the mode of the filter or the polarity and amount of resonance in the filter. Uh, and this has its own VCA and morph outputs. I have my frequency central system X envelope patched into the FM1 input, which is normalized to the pulse width one and morph inputs. I have my Rene synchrony, uh, sequencing the WMD synchrodyne, which is sending a sawtooth to the spectrum mirror input. We are listening to the Spectrum Mirror's VCA output as it is open and closed by our envelope. As I start the sequence, you will hear a completely clean sawtooth signal coming through. Now, as I decrease the pulse width parameter, you will hear more and more of the downsampled signal coming through. pulse width is totally low, we hear nothing. Since the width has gone to zero, there is no sampling clock coming in and the track and hold is just holding a DC voltage. However, if I increase the modulation from the envelope going into the pulse width parameter, we can treat this like a VCA as well. And if I increase the modulation going to the frequency input, we will hear the timbre of the note move with the envelope, just like in a low pass gate. Now the Spectrum Mirror's sampling clock range is really wide. It goes from ultrasound on one end to over 10 seconds on the other. By moving the Spectrum Mirror into lower frequency ranges, some interesting stuttering sounds can be achieved. Now, bringing the frequency back up, we will increase the resonance. You will hear the down sampler start to self-oscillate like a resonant filter. resonance is controlled by the bipolar VCA, so if we invert the VCA, we get negative resonance. Of course, you can control this with voltage. A 
Another thing to note is that the internal clock of the spectrometer tracks one volt per octave, so it can move in tandem with your input melody. Finally, let's talk about the morph output. The morph output sums the bipolar VCA with the input in order to achieve phase canceling or reinforcing effects. If I turn the morph parameter all the way counterclockwise, we are left with a signal corresponding to the error left over from the sample and hold. This ends up sounding a bit like a high pass filter, which is why I have dubbed the effect high pass sampling. <laughs> sampling type of effect with the lower range removed. Now as I mentioned before, the morph parameter will actually change the mode of your filter, so as I move towards 12 o'clock, we have a completely unaffected signal, but clockwise of 12, we get something which is the sum of the downsampled signal and the unaffected signal. This is useful for getting a downsampled type of sound without affecting the integrity of the original signal. Sounds especially nice with some resonance. And there you have it. Those are the basics of the spectrum here. I'll be posting a lot of videos showing example patches and jams to give you a better idea of how to use it. Thank you for watching. <laughs>